welcome back to my channel so today i have got for you guys a little london vlog so yeah basically i'm doing this little intro bit afterwards uh, so it's currently monday today monday the 31st of january i started this vlog saturday the 29th of january which was my birthday and i did intro the vlog with a little bit of a chatty type thing so you guys will see that in a minute but i'm basically gonna talk you guys through what i did because i was a terrible vlogger and none of it really makes sense none of it's got talking in it apart from the intro like i said so yeah i'm gonna talk you through what happened but honestly I had the best weekend ever so yeah i'm gonna roll the first clip everyone good morning so so today is my birthday it's the 29th of january saturday Ruth here as per and basically today we are off to london as i said in the last vlog so yeah i did actually change the outfit because i got this top from my nan and i love it so i'm wearing this instead i also got an apple watch last night from my dad so very excited very happy about that yeah but it's literally like half eight in the morning and we're about to head off sorry if you can hear noises it's rude but yeah i'll show you my outfit here's my outfit so yeah this top is actually from new look um super cute and then just some black level look oh leggings God. and i'm gonna wear my boots as well but i'm gonna have to leave little ruru he's staying with my brother yeah <laughs> London really early in the morning and then we got to the hotel dropped our bags off and then we went straight for afternoon tea which was at the wizard exploratorium so many people have asked me where that was um so it's kind of like piccadilly circus slash soho area in london honestly it was amazing so it was an afternoon tea which we had cocktails we had the tea we had all the cakes and sandwiches, like it was amazing. So I did vlog quite a bit of that so you guys can see that. You literally had like a wand to like open things and like, it was just so cool. It was like potion making. It was the coolest thing ever. So yeah, we had that. English isn't his first language, okay? So if you swap over your hands, okay? And if he approves of you, he won't spit on you, okay? So make sure your glass is underneath his okay. mouth right here and you hold your wand on this okay. ring right here, but make sure you say you spell nice and loud first. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Abracadabra. Amazing. Oh, yeah. The more you hold, the more it comes out. That's it, you keep spelling it. Awesome. That's it. Amazing, I can pass you one over to the next one. So 
so after we had the afternoon tea we went back to the hotel for a little bit and I also I forgot to say also at the afternoon tea place I opened my presents because I didn't have time to do that in the morning and honestly let me tell you I cried I cried guys so yeah I will tell you guys what I got at the end of this video because I'm gonna do a little what I got for my birthday video so then we went back to the hotel had a little nap I'm not gonna lie and then we went out for dinner which was at the hard rock cafe so we did film a little bit of this but i forgot to film the actual meal it was a little bit rushed because we also went to the theater afterwards but i'll talk to you guys about that in a second it was so cute because they sang happy birthday to me it was kind of embarrassing but you know i'm gonna insert a clip of that as well even though my mum filmed it in portrait mode <laughs> So yeah that was really fun and then we went to the theatre like I said we went to the Guild or what's it called Gilgood Theatre which was just across the road from our hotel and we went to go see 222 so in case you don't know what 222 is honestly where have you been if you haven't but it is a ghost story and it's got James Buckley in at the moment who plays Jay in the Inbetweeners and Giovanna Fletcher who uh, I love G so much. G is a podcaster, she won I'm a Celeb, and she's married to Tom Fletcher, who is the love of my life from McFly. Yeah, we went and watched the show there. Honestly, it was incredible. Like, you need to go see it if you haven't already. Although it has only got like two weeks left, but it was amazing. Oh my God. After the show, I actually met James Buckley, which was crazy. I actually met G as well. Like, we met the whole cast. Um, but they had to rush off really quickly so we just got a little wave from them but James actually stopped and spoke to us all which was so nice so I got a picture with him and I also told him it was my 21st birthday and he wished me a happy birthday and he asked how it was and we had like a really nice conversation like he is one of the most loveliest guys ever so yeah can't believe that amazing and then to be honest we were so tired that we just went back to the hotel room had a drink there and chilled for the rest of the night i went to sleep <laughs> the next morning we got up and we went to starbucks for breakfast so also forgot to do a room tour i was meant to do one the next day before we left and i completely forgot but it was a really cool room it was the, at the Z well in soho or piccadilly i really don't understand it it's like kind of in the middle of the two but anyway so yeah we left we went to starbucks and then afterwards i had booked us in me my mum my sister because that's who i went with we had booked ourselves in for tattoos so we went to the london social which oh my god was incredible they specialize in fine line tattoos and they were just amazing so i had pablo do mine who is at certified letter boy on instagram and then my mum my sister had a girl called ellie i'll also leave her out on screen and yeah they were both incredible Every time I fall literally the most painless experience of my life i was dreading it i was really quite nervous and i thought it was really gonna hurt i didn't feel it at all it is different though because we 
we're at a fine line pace so the needle is really really tiny compared to like a normal tattooing needle so that was probably one of the reasons why I didn't hurt that much but yes I'm gonna show you guys my tattoos but yeah guys so that was literally it after we got our tattoos done we just went back to Liverpool Street and we got some food and then we went home on the train home so yeah it was honestly the best weekend ever like I had the best time ever so much fun so yeah I'm gonna have some Instagram pictures going up soon so make sure you go follow my Instagram if you haven't already all the links will be in the description like normal but yes yeah, so now on to the next part of this video I'm gonna show you guys what tattoos I got I'm just gonna say so basically we had to have the like sticker stuff put on them. Rather than cling film, they have like special stickers and then you have to keep them on for three days before you can take them off, wash the area and stuff like that. So mine still have the transfer underneath, especially the one that I got on my wrist, which I'll show you in a second. Yes, yeah, so it is very smudgy, but I basically got, if you guys have seen my videos before, you'll know on my back wall, I have got a little picture from Desenio that says breathe in this really nice font and I have literally loved that for years and I've always wanted these two tattoos basically so I got breathe there we go I got breathe across here on my ribs literally did not hurt at all it's just under my bra it's just so cute I'm obsessed let me try and do a bit of a close-up and then I also got a love heart outline here which is the one that is kind of hard to show you guys because but the transfer was really like a thick outline of a heart and obviously they did fine lining over the top of that but then when they put the sticker on the transfer like ink is now like smudging all over the place so it's really hard to actually see what it looks like but I'm gonna do a little clip over the top of this a few days time when I have took these off and you guys can see what they actually look like but I am just so obsessed with them and I'm so happy so yeah they were my first ever tattoos and honestly the best experience ever of getting a tattoo so yeah if you're in London make sure you go check them out and see them because they're incredible they've got two different studios they've got one in Soho which is the one I went to and they've got one in Angel Islington yeah they also do like Mason Mounts tattoos like they do a lot of celebs tattoos so they are just incredible but yeah so I'll leave their links in the description as well like I said so now guys I'm gonna give you a little what I got for my birthday because I know you guys all want that so yeah, let's do it. So I need to make sure that I don't forget anything. So first things first, my dad and my stepmom got me an Apple Watch. I am in, I'm honestly so grateful for this. I've wanted an Apple Watch for so long now. So I got the Apple Watch SE. So I was trying to decide between the SE or the 7, but the 7 only had like a couple extra like health things and I was like do I really need that no and it was like 150 pounds between the two so yeah I went with the SE and I got the rose gold so you can kind of see the rose gold and the starlight colored band honestly I'm obsessed it actually matches with my jumper today as well so yeah I am so obsessed with this so I'm so grateful obviously I'm not bragging or anything in any way shape or form as every youtuber says this is just a video that everybody does on youtube and I have been doing it for years now so yeah they also got me some chocolates they are literally handmade chocolates and they're like the most incredible flavors so I'm very excited to try these so that was it from my dad and my stepmom so I'm so grateful for that then from my brother I got a little Pandora charm it's this one here it's kind of hard to show you guys but it is a little 21 charm and it's got like a little infinity on it it's just the cutest thing ever and it's really nice because i've got a 16 and 18 and now a 21 so yeah i absolutely love that oh his girlfriend also got me that it was from my brother and his girlfriend and he also got me some money which is really cute so that went towards my tattoo <laughs> so next up is my mum my mum absolutely outdid herself first she got me a really cute little um it's like a wine glass thing you put at the bottom of your wine glass to like tell who's is who kind of thing but yeah it's got a little k on it a 21 and a little champagne bo uh, cup thing really cute so she got me i mean obviously she paid for like my train for london and everything as well which is just incredible um so yeah and then she also got me this little eiffel tower pandora charm which i'm obsessed with 
There is a reason for it, but I'll tell you that in a minute. But yeah, really cute. I don't know if you can see it very well, but really cute Eiffel Tower. I have basically been wanting to go to Paris for so many years now, and I keep going on about it literally non-stop. And my mum surprised me with this. So this is like a little suitcase box, and it says 21 on it, and then she's wrote a little thing. And then inside the box is a little passport. And then inside the passport, my mum's wrote a little message, and then it says, scratch here for your destination. I scratched it off, and it says, we are going to Paris. So yeah, me, my mum, my sister are going to Paris in April and honestly guys when I say I cried I cried in the middle of the Harry Potter uh afternoon tea absolutely bawled my eyes out because I just couldn't believe it see I'm so excited about that but yeah guys I'm literally so grateful for this like you have no idea so yeah she got me that and then she got me a little Paris pocket guide thing and yeah so I'm so excited and like I literally can't believe it so yeah get ready for the vlogs I'm just I can't believe it. And my sister was also amazing. So she got me the afternoon tea thing for Christmas that we went to on my birthday. And then she also got me tickets to go see 222. So that's what I got from my sister. Again, so grateful. So thank you, Tiff. Love you. My auntie actually got me a wine tumbler thing. It's like a portable wine glass thing in rose gold, but I washed it up and I forgot to bring it up here. So yeah, and it also came with some socks that says, uh, bring if you if you can read this, bring me some wine on the bottom, which is really cute. And with like a little 21 key, which is really cute. And a little cork thing. I don't know what you call them actually. A cork yeah, it's like a cork thing, isn't it? I don't know. But yeah, so thank you very much to my auntie for that. And then my uncle got me some really cute little earrings, which are from Dubai, and they are just the cutest. So yeah, thank you so much to my uncle for them. I don't want to miss anyone out. Oh, my friend, my friend April got me a cute little key ring. I don't know where I've put it now. I've put it on the side somewhere. But anyway, she got me a cute little key ring that said my name on it and said 21. And I thought that was super cute. I think that is everything. But I don't want to miss anybody out because I'll feel bad. But I think that was everything. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, this has been the best birthday ever. I had the best time. So thank you so much to just everyone, like all my family and friends. I love you guys so much. And the party doesn't stop because next weekend we are off to Brighton for take two of 21. So yeah, me and the YouTube lot are all going to Brighton for my birthday. We're all just going to be drinking. We're going to the Hilton. Although I'm a bit disappointed because there was a pool at the Hilton, which I was very excited to use. But obviously I can't now because of my tattoos. But I can dip my legs in, right? So, <laughs> but yes. So, I hope you guys are excited for that. I will definitely be vlogging that. So, don't you guys worry. But, yeah. So, that is it for this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to check out my social media, which is on the screen now. And subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all very, very soon with a new one. Bye.